so that we can bring all of us on board and have a situation where no Kenyan is left behind. Okay. No Kenyan. And I said I would use today as a day to say my thanks and to uh, put things also in context. Because I hope and pray that from here, we shall focus ourselves on the issue at hand. And the issue at hand is how to ensure unity in our diversity. There are issues, fellow Kenyans, that we consistently shy away from addressing because we don't want to address certain things. We don't want to, to own up to certain things. But the fact of the matter is that we are a tribal society. We want to get away from it, but that's what we are. And this is what divides us because we pretend we are national leaders. But when the time comes, we switch to vernacular and we become what we are. And these are facts. To see Danga, to see, to see, to see Danga Nyani. Nakila Muntu and Azema Ile Watu Akonam Naisi Jui, Nawale Wako Hivi, Nawale Wako Ville, Nawale Wako Hivi. I will also admit today that I've also been part and parcel of that negative politics. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not blaming, I'm not saying this because I'm pointing fingers at anybody. I am just saying we have all been part of this mess. We have all been part of it. But we never want to, to talk about it. We all pretend how great and how national leaders we are. All right? And that is why we must address ourselves to this issue of inclusivity. Because if we are going to remove this kasumba that has disturbed us, we must deal with this issue of inclusivity so that every single community and section of this country feels that they are part and parcel of this great nation. And you know, we started pole pole addressing ourselves to that issue even in 2010 by bringing on devolution and ensuring now resources were going Kule Mashinani. But there were still elements that were left. Elements that made people feel that they were left out of national government. So the issue of inclusivity is critical and was critical. And we said with my friend here, we must address ourselves to that issue so that future generations will be able to address themselves as Kenyans. But then we never address it. And that's why I'm saying, I want to thank these gentlemen because they are trying to address themselves to those issues. Because until we do, our politics will consistently be negative. And we want to change that cycle so that our politics can be positive driven. Positive that we are winners when we are together. That is the direction that we wish to move ourselves. The second big problem we have is our young people. Again, let us not cheat ourselves. It is our young people. We have a youth bulge that if not properly handled can be a time bomb that can blow this country to pieces. And the handling of that has to be done extremely carefully. Extremely carefully. 
That is not a problem of this community or that. It affects us all. But how we manage it, we must manage it very carefully. We cannot manage it through inciting them. All right? We must manage it by including them, including them in our decision-making processes. And that is why I said in Kisi, during the Mashuja Day celebration, if we are to deal with our youth problem, we must deal with our economy. And there is no country in the world that has ever developed on a five-year cycle of politics. You can never develop on a five-year cycle. And if you cannot develop your economy, how do you create the jobs? If every cycle you spend one whole year, and in this case, in our case, is two years before the election campaigning, then you spend another two years after the election campaign trying to sort out the political mess. Umebaki na mwaka moja ya kufanya kazi. Uchumi kweli tutapanua. Wenzangu. Vijana kweli tutawapatia kazi. Yeah? Na ndipo niliwambia juzi wakati tulikuwa tumeenda kuanzisha mradi wahawa vijana na nikawaambia my friends be very careful it is very exciting and it is very sweet but we must stop this culture of use and dispose of our young people and instead <laughs> develop and deepen a process which again i want to thank these gracious men and women, because they have looked into those issues of how we can systematically and in a very clear and thought out manner enable our young people who are our future to be a productive part of Kenyan society. And nobody can do that. I can't do it alone. We must be together. And we must engage in that conversation together. <laughs> and I strongly believe if we just deal with those two issues, and I know there are many other issues dealing with women, dealing with uh, 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 handicap, and I don't want to get into them. Kwa sababu tumesoma na tumesema tutakuwa na dialogue. Lakini mimi ombi langu kwenu nyinyi. Ni wakati tunasoma, let us focus ourselves on dealing with those two very critical issues that will guarantee the peace, the stability, and the ultimate prosperity of our nation. And let us not entertain the sideshows. Because there are too many sideshows that are detracting us from where we want to go, that are stopping this country from being that great country that our forefathers saw it to be. And I believe that together we can achieve it. And I believe that together we can overcome this hurdle and then those who are seeking elective positions, how wonderful it would be if you were seeking those elective positions in a unified country where it was ideas that are competing against each other, not ethnicity, not this, not this. It was a competition of ideas. How best can we get to where we are going? How best can we achieve for our people, for our children, for our children's children. And I believe here we have something 
as I said in TC, I believe here we have something that can begin us in that process. And rather than fight over the many things that we will either agree or disagree on, please, on this one, let us agree. Let us agree and fix it. Mimi hiyo ndiyo ombilangu. Kwenu nyinyi na kwa wa Kenya wote. <laughs> na ndiyo nasema mimi na waomba musome. Kwa sababu la like, kuna vipengele mingi. Na tumesikia hapa wengine wakaya, mi staki hile, hii, hiwe namna hii, hii, hiwe namna hii. Ni sawa. That is the conversation that we must have. Sindio? Because at the end of the day, all we want to do is to see ourselves improve what has been done. But let us not be bogged down by those ones and fail to achieve this one. Because without this, ata hizo zingine zote, nizabure. Amani wenzangu. Amani na umoja wa taifa letu. Na njia ile tutapambana na ukosefu wa kazi kwa vijana wetu. Na mambo haya hatutaweza kutimiza tusipokuja pamoja. Na ndipo mimi leo vile mmesikia nikisema na mshukuru ndugu yangu Raila. Hakuja hapa kupambana na mimi. Hakuja hapa kusema tugawe serikali. Na nikimshukuru na mshukuru pamoja na viongozi wake wenzake wale walikuwa wanasa. Mheshimiwa Kalonzo Msioka, Mheshimiwa Mudavadi, Mheshimiwa Wetangula wiu wote na na washukuru na ndipo na mshukuru hata sasa upande yetu ya jubilee na mshukuru kwa sababu tulisonga pamoja hapa katikati ndiyo sasa 2022 ikaanza kuwa inapita <laughs> akasahau yale yale mengine ndio wanasema watu tutulize ball hiyo bado itakuja ama ni namna gani wenzangu tutulize tutulize ball hiyo itakuja eh miaka hairudi nyuma nilikuwa naambia viongozi hawa wa 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 wa, 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 wa kisi siku nyingine walikuja kunitembelea race ni hii ni ile ya ku handover unajua eh ndio inaitwa relay Unakimbia unakimbia ule mwingine anakugojea pale anatakikana kukugojea ndio ashike aendelee si ndio Lakini sasa my brother William hapa amepinduka anakimbia nyuma Kasema mos 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 tutafika tu. <laughs> Jameni. Tufanye shughuli hii, shughuli hii muhimu kwa taifa. Shughuli ambayo itatusaidia na itasaidia kulete umoja na amani katika taifa letu. Tumesikia hapa wale ambao wametuongelesha hapa wale ambao wamepoteza mali yao kule mall wazazi wetu hapa walipoteza mtoto yao kwa sababu ya siasa vile mama pendo ametuambia hapa wacha hiyo iwe ya mwisho wacha hiyo iwe ya mwisho na tuweze kusonga pamoja na ndipo nasema sisi tutaendelea kujadiliana na viongozi wenzetu na wauliza nyinyi muendelee kuongea at every level of government at every level of society engage one another talk to each other and in a civilized manner bring your recommendations to our good friends improve on it if we can improve on it as one of our colleagues here said you know a good idea always gives way to a better so if there is a better one, bring it on board. Let us not overload ourselves.
and let us push forward and bring peace to our country. Mimi sitaki kuzidi hapo isipokuwa kuungana na yale ambaye pia eh, former prime minister ametaja ya kwamba sisi wote tuatumu marambi rambi kwa jamii ya Zamba Kitonga shujaa wa taifa letu la Kenya ambaye alitusaidia kuleta hiyo katiba ya 2010 tuombe Mwenyezi Mungu amweke pahali pema na tufuate sisi hivyo ambaye ametufundisha tutasaidiana BBI hii itapita jameni ama mnaonaje itapita jameni mtapitisha mtatusaidia kuelemisha wa Kenya ni kwa nini tunataka kupitisha document hii mtatusaidia tutatembea pamoja Nataka mimi kumalizia hapo lakini niseme nasikia Kalonzo akiongea hapo ya kwamba sijui kuna marriage act <laughs> lakini ile 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 nilishika ni apogisho kuniambia kuna ukurasa bilibilia ambaye inasema inawezekana nataka Tukimaliza tukimaliza hapa utanionesha ni chapter gani hiyo ndio niweze kusoma vizuri alafu alafu tutaongea baadaye mamini <laughs>